Last time we were here and spoke with Alistair Thompson, the SKN team was off to Antigua and uh, he had some bold predictions, of course, and the team uh, he understood, we understood, was very fit and ready for the tournament. Alistair, having gone through the tournament, um, how do you feel the practice, the training, the readiness that you talked about, how did that work out in Antigua? Curtis, uh, good evening to the viewers, and I must say, um, good evening and thanks for your support while we were in Antigua for 10 days. Um, the training went, I think the training is what took us through um, that tournament. It was a rough tournament, um, playing sometime twice per day, playing games 2 o'clock in the boiling sun. Um, it had to be in the training and the fitness that took us through that. How did the girls stand up? Um, generally, did you have a lot of substitutions, injuries, that kind of stuff to deal with? Well, the game that we played at 2 o'clock, I can tell you two of our players fainted on the court. Uh, I mean, we had, they had the doctor work overtime on that day along with the trainer. So it was harsh condition. Um, it's what it was. Um, we lost that game, I think, by four goals. I think by four goals it was hard, but it was, uh, it's what it is. And that reminds me that the doctor and the trainer, they must be congratulated. Apparently, they really had some serious work to do. Well, I think they work over time. Um, this tournament shows up a lot of injuries on these girls. I'm talking about at least six, seven of them was plagued with injuries. Some old injuries that popped back up, some new injuries. And so the doctor and the trainer, they work over time. A lot of people don't even understand Sometime at the after game in the morning, the trainer work right up until four or five o'clock on these girls to have them ready for the game at six or seven o'clock. So they work, they work, and we want to thank them. You promised me the championship trophy. Um, you had some close games. Talk us through some of these games. Curtis, you got to want something bad enough to, to go for it. Um, let's take the Dominica game that we lost by four goals. Uh, that was a game we should have won. We should have won that game. Again, I think after we had the incident with the two ladies fainting on the court, I think the whole team started to check themselves and pull back. You know, And I think that's where the game just slipped away from us in that game. Um, St. Lucia game, we were down in the last quarter. I think the girls determined that they wanted that game. The last quarter, I mean, I could remember one Shinnet on the bench in the, in the third quarter. And she said, I need to get back on the court. And she went back on and they decided to rally as a team and they decided they wanted it and they took it. And I think that was, that was the spirit at that game. The Antigua game, another game we should have won. By three. by three goals and not only losing the game by three we lose third place in the tournament by that same three goals and so it was hard but again it, when the game one of the disadvantages of this tournament i must say though there was no time clock so at no point in the game you know how much time gone and how much leave yeah i don't know um, i spoke to the umpire about that and they have a buzzer on them so when the time is up, the buzzer goes off and they just blow off. Wow. So at no point. And so, you know, coming down to the last two minutes, you could say, okay, let's push ourselves. Mm -hmm. You didn't know which part of the game you were. And I think that was a disadvantage. Not that we are complaining because all teams had to deal with it. But I believe, and it's not just Sinkis Nevis. I heard other teams complaining about that. It was a disadvantage. So the teams that kind of, were kind of out of your range maybe barbados but you had them seven goals to nil you had barbados shaking in their boots well barbados is an international team they rank i think number 13 in the world and so um leading barbados by seven at any point is a good feeling um but again their skills their fitness these are ladies who go gym every single day you know their fitness their skills their experience is going to kick in and i think that was the only game i think we should have lost the barbados game all the other games were in our reach i think the girls them give it give away some and some was taken from us and so generally speaking you'll say that the team did pretty well 
Well, if if we run our mind back to February of last year when we were in Dominica, we were beaten by every team like as a bongo drum. Um, the lowest of team, Dominica, beat us last year. Um, we, we lost every single game last year. And not just losing the game, we lost them badly. This year, as I said to you before I leave here, we were going to compete. Not just participate. Not just participate and I believe the girls competed well. Poor Montserrat. Everybody beat up on Montserrat. What, what, what are your thoughts? Could they get some help? Do they have some potential? Well, Monstrat have been out of netball. They are not even a member of the whole netball. Um, they are just rebuilding. And so, yes, that will happen. But if they keep at it, I can tell you in the next two, three years, we'll be hearing about Monstrat highly. Um, we may, a lot, all the teams beat them up. I mean, I remember one game they scored 25. And the way they went on in the stand, you swear they had won the tournament. Because before that, all the game, they were 11. 11. And so they really had a ball that night when they scored 25. Wow. So what's the next move from here? Because I understand you're already back in training again. Yes, we are in training. Um, we travel on Wednesday. We are going to St. Martin for a tournament, the Battle of the Saints in St. Martin from the, from the 19th to the 22nd. That's going to be a rough one. We're talking about like eight games in four days. And so uh, um, the girls, we are trying to get them mentally ready for that tournament. So we leave on Wednesday morning and we turn on Monday evening. What about those injuries? Six injured, etc. How are they going to prepare for this by Wednesday? Well, I leave that to the trainer and the doctor who is working overtime. I think some of them would have done some x-rays and so forth just to make sure that how they are not bro broken bones and it's something that they can play with. Yes. And so since we have returned, some of them would have done x-rays. Some would have gone for massages and so forth to make sure they are up and ready. And so we'll be traveling with 11 of those players. I think it's only one not going. What about the other teams in this um, Battle of the Saints? Could you just name them first? Well, I know St. Martin is in, Bivia is in, Guadeloupe is in, and somehow I believe Anguilla. But those are, I know those along with St. Kitts Navy. So it's either four or five teams in this tournament. And I must say it's a tournament that we think we can win. Well, Ali, I certainly look forward to this time seeing the championship trophy. Fourth spot ain't bad, you know. Fourth spot based on the competition that I saw, because we saw a lot of it on YouTube. The competition was pretty stiff, I must tell you. Maybe even more than maybe you anticipated. I, I thought the other teams were pretty good as well. So I'm looking forward to a trophy this time, a championship trophy. Yes, and again, when you take a team like St. Vincent, this will be in their fourth tournament for this year. They have been in training weeks after week after week. We were just in training for six weeks, and we have pulled the team together. Um, there's still some other players out there that we are trying to get into the team, but we are hoping that even after this tournament, once or twice per week, I can have these girls stay in training. Yeah, um, we had a meeting last night and we discussed going forward that we're going to try to keep keep them in that's training yes and so that's what we are looking it's a lot of work Curtis it's a lot of work it's costly um, but we want to put in the work because the ladies has promised me that St. Lucia next year they're coming back with a trophy nice. finally I did say wrapping up with the St. Martin trip but Grenada beating St. Vincent and taking championship honors. Your thoughts on that? Well, Curtis, that's not a surprise to me, to be honest. This tournament is in its third stage, third year. Grenada would have won it the first year, and then they did not enter last year. And so St. Vincent won. But Grenada came back with the intention of taking, I mean, they had shirt printed. If you realize Grenada had shirt 2023 champs so they come with that intention of winning this tournament they have the players um they have been in training and they took it um i think st vincent really thought that, i think they were overconfident to be honest i believe st vincent were overconfident and so they took grenada lightly 
But Grenada stuck to their game plan and they came out on top. And I believe they deserve to win. Well, thank you much, Ali, for the update. And we look forward to a nice report coming out of St. Martin shortly. Thank you very much, Curtis. And we ask in the public to continue to support. Continue to support. Um, it's a building process. Um, last year we were atrocious. But we are building. We are building. We are improving. I mean, as I sat in the lobby sometime and you hear the umpires and the different managers talking and they're saying, oh, if St. Kitts Nevis didn't have to fight with these injuries, they were going to be a force to reckon with this year. And they could just imagine what's going to happen in the future. And that is what we are looking for. We are trying to build a proper team that in the future, you know, when we came in at the airport, one lady asked me, what did you come? I said, fourth. She said, well, it's a long time St. Kitts Nevis ain't come nothing. <laughs> so, that, but we are in the rebuilding state. I believe we have the caliber of girls to do the job. Um, and so we just need to keep working. So we want to ask you to continue to support the Netball Association, the Netball, the St. Kitts Nevis national team. Um, and we're going to make you proud one day. Thank you, Ali. And thank you for your hard work. Thank you very much, God.